Hello everyone, this is your good old pal Teshin Jr., today I'm bringing you with an update on the last video. Since Space Mom thought weapons that can shoot projectile more than one time in the air was too dangerous, she decided to modify it, and now it can only throw one Exodia Contagion projectile until we touch the ground to reactivate it again. But I didn't make this video just so I can talk about the nerf, since it isn't that big of a deal, because normally people just bullet jump and double jump at the same time without thinking about it, and there has been a lot of people that didn't know Exodia Contagion could throw more projectiles in one jumping, and have been using it for a long time without problems, and for this nerf it's a bit of a meh to them. Now the real reason why I'm making this video it's because I have found a new technique. Thanks to these two amazing hunters, another way to throw Exodia Contagion without loosing Void Strikes was discovered. Okay, so another way to throw Exodia Contagion projectile is by activating Volt Speed. Allow me to demonstrate. Odd technique right? Unlike the other way to throw Exodia Contagion using shield, this way is much faster, but when there is pros there are cons. First let's compare speeds. As you can see the Volt speed method is faster, and you can be even more faster if you add speed mods on your Zaw or Warframe, this is because putting a shield animations takes too long, natural talent could help with shield speed technique, now speeds aren't a big deal, if you already have enough power, or say strength, at your disposal, because there is only so much your speed can take you, and you already have enough speed to hit a limb before the propa ball explodes. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of both techniques. Okay let's start with con number 1, the volt speed technique can knock you down, if you are too close to anything such as the wall, lures, limbs, bombalist, even the ground. Unless of course, you keep blocking until the Exodia Contagion projectile hits impact which is a let down, because you can lose speed over this unless, of course you got prime sure footed, but this isn't something you would have to worry about because, you being too close to something isn't a problem as matter of fact. Not enough range is the typical problem in Eidolon hunting, I estimate the Hydrolist to be 32 meters tall, and the shoulders and biceps are 28 meters above ground. Con number 2, if your Zaw isn't powerful you will clearly rely on a shield to increase critical damage, and thing is, one of the many things I learned in Eidolon hunting is that you spent 60 to 70% of the time in the operator form charging void strikes, and the reason why this is a con is because, if you spend too much time in your war from deploying two shields, assuming you are aiming at the higher limbs, before the Eidolons start screaming, you will lose precious time to charging void strikes, and removing shields could be harder, but like I said, unless your Zaw is powerful this isn't gonna be a con at all for you. Now for the pros, the speed is much faster, and if you are very fast, you can destroy a limb at the pace of a four-man squad, this is very much possible, because there is a scenario in which you can hit a limb before the propa ball explodes. Pro number 2, you can barrage attack a limb due to its speed, if you don't have powerful mods at the moment, I'm not calling you cheap, this pro is rarely a thing because, people have a hard time hitting the Eidolons if it moves, same go for Necromic users, the mechs can move the Arquibex, but can't move from its spot, the Exodia Contagions can't move the projectile, but can move the Warframe to another angle. This pros is useful in some cases, which are rare, but it's still useful. Pro number 3 is the best pro yet, because you will not lose a single void strike, even at this range. Now let's move on to the shield technique.
god technique right? The shield technique is very powerful, but where there are pros there are cons, so let's talk about the cons first. Con number 1, it's very slow to a point where, if your Zaw's default speed is slow, or your Volt doesn't have enough strength, your limb cracking will take time, and if you are not fast enough, the Eidolon will move, and you will miss, this can happen the moment you remove the shield, and let's say your Mega's lockdown, effect wears off, the Eidolon can move instantly without a second thought. Now let's talk about con number 2, it's very energy consuming. Many Eidolon hunters don't really care about the energy your Volt has, and mainly focus on strength and duration, which is better, but personally I prefer not to spam a pad every time I need to put a single shield, bell of me when I tell you that I only use 0 to 3 pads on my Warframe per hunt, the rest is with the operator. Now like I said about Con 1 it lacks speed, and you need to use Volt speed to increase that Exodia throw faster. Now let's talk about the pros pro number 1, because of the shield you can gain more damage, and you can stack more shields, be noted that it won't increase the critical damage for each shield, but it gains more electricity damage, this is great when you are trying to finish off the Eidolons in the final shot. Die you fat blob. Pro number 2, you won't have to worry about activating a shield before the Eidolon starts screaming, if you have a weapon and set similar to mine which is not top of the line limb breaker, the shield will help you get more damage out of it, once you remove the Eidolon's shield, you can just instantly activate the technique to destroy the limb, by the way this hunter managed to get 8 minutes and 30 seconds run solo without damage, let's check out his run, I will leave it at the description. Pro number 3 is the same as speed technique. When you apply this technique, you won't lose a single void strike by accident regardless the range of your Zaw. Anyway that's about it for this video, there are probably more techniques, pros, cons, that I don't know, or didn't mention, but if you know something then leave a comment, and tell me what techniques with the Zaw that you know, not only to help me, but to help others, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want.